Hey guys, this is your Trust of Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about the 2020 updated tornado outlook for a tornado potential from May through December. And this is an updated version. I will likely not make another version of this. But before I get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 85% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content and hit the, no the notification bell if you don't want to miss an upload. Let's get right into the month of May. Orange means about slight to moderately above average severe weather given medium confidence. I do have enough confidence to say that everywhere in this orange region will receive slightly to moderately above average severe weather, ranging from Texas through the Great Lakes. And the first half of May is expected to be below average, but the second half of May is where things kick off in this orange region and other regions here. And the gray region doesn't mean you're not going to get severe weather. Gray means average, where you will receive average or below average severe weather. I am not labeling below average severe weather in these types of videos. Uh, but there is below average severe weather for the first half of May. And the second half of May is expected to be below average for the deep south. Uh, but that doesn't mean you're not going to get any severe weather events. It's just below average. Getting into the month of June... June is where things kick off more, entering into the summer. You have an orange region going from Texas through the Dakotas, through the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and through Ohio. It's where you have slightly to moderately above average severe weather. And then we have red going from the Great Lakes, Midwest, Illinois, Michigan, Indiana, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Missouri. All those states in the red here are expected to get moderately to significantly above average severe weather. And I say significantly, very loosely. Uh, any severe weather events are considered anything a marginal and above per SBC standards. So we could see like 50 marginal events, which does not make sense, obviously, but you get the point, hopefully. Like a lot of marginal events and no slight enhanced events means that's technically above average severe weather because marginal does mean severe weather. It just means less intense more isolated. This does not determine the intensity of the severe weather events, just the frequency. Going into July is where things kick off more west. We have slightly to moderately above average going from Montana back into the Great Lakes in Illinois, Wisconsin, Indiana, Missouri. And then we have moderately to significantly above in the Dakotas, Nebraska, Montana, Wyoming, and that red region. Going into August, in the month of August, you can expect slightly to moderately above average severe weather going as far east as the northeast, where you do have some increased chances in August, and the Florida Panhandle, the extreme western, I should say, going as far north as South Dakota and Wyoming, and including much of the uh, deep south and southwest, including Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico. Moving on to September. In September, we can expect slightly to moderately above average severe weather for portions of the south, going from Texas through the extreme northern Florida panhandle, Georgia, and as far north as extreme southern Illinois and Missouri. We also have a small region in the Dakotas where you can expect slightly to moderately above average as well. Going into October, we have average, November, average, December, average. These last three months of the year are expected to remain average or below average for much of the United States. That's your trusted weather forecast for this updated 2020 tornado outlook. Please leave a like on this video, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.